have a problem and we have to fix it because we all as people have responsibilities of taking care of this world but right now at the moment not many people are following those responsibilities the reason why we can't we've never seen we really haven't seen much of this stuff is because the water i know they are deep down in the water but all these pollutants just make it so we just can't see all these um underwater marvels down there what, what I love about Puget Sound is the animals, which is why we need to protect Puget Sound because it also protects the animals in Puget Sound. Since oysters, uh, they filter the water. If anything eats the oyster that's been filtering, filtering um, polluted water, then you could get sick and other animals can get sick. We need to be aware of how um, how we are polluting and what we are really doing because it's coming so natural to us that we're that we're not thinking oh we're polluting we're just thinking oh I've done this a million times before and nothing's happened and then just do it again and again and unless they realize how bad it's going it's it is then they're gonna just keep doing it again and do it doing it more frequently. I want to get splashed. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, I got it now. It also affects plants too. And it, it affects animals that look like plants such as sea anemones, hydroids, and coral. Uh, shellfish affect what eat the shellfish, because that would pollute what uh, whatever is eating them and then whatever eats what is eating the shellfish, which is eating those pollutants, um, can get affected. So it's kind of like a chain of how like, just a certain animal eating pollutants and then it moving on in, into other animals eating that animal and then kind of like the food chain only, it's passing on pollutants. Pollution can build up inside capital, like it, when it, it used to be, a beautiful normal sea co color. Now it's all brown and murky and dirty. That's because of our pollution. It's a body of water that's full of pollution that we need to protect. Well, I think there would be more enforcement of uh, how many uh, how many factories that pollute could be in one area which changed the amount of uh, these bad things that people are using and these bad things that people are just wasting and throwing out the window thinking, oh, it'll just uh, degrade in a thousand years and then when a thousand years come, at least something has happened because of that little, because of that one action that could have been changed and it should be.